Hi and welcome to our fifth episode in conversation with the Dean and Director of Sixth Cricket Academy, Mr. Karthik Jashwan. Welcome, sir. Hello. Mr. Jashwan, in our last episode, we spoke about the importance of club cricket in Karnataka. You've got good response to it. Few parents have asked me questions, but how important is goal setting for a player in a parent's point of view? Yeah, thank you, Sufi, and thanks all the parents who have been following this and uh, putting in, coming in with a lot of uh, relevant questions, which in general help the parent community across the country who want their children to play the sport. Uh, coming to a specific question of uh, the goal setting as per uh, the parents point of view the first thing it should be set some realistic goals set some reachable goals because uh, I'm sure you know I also being a parent when we put our children into a school we don't think that you know our child will have to be a PhD or a master's in something we don't know you know, we start with first standard, second standard, third standard. We are okay to go patiently, wait for it and uh, accept what life gives us. Versus here, unfortunately, with uh, a few parents, you know, m most of the parents are well versed, you know, because they're all very qualified in their respective fields. They know what is to expect about, expect from this sport, like, uh, you know, you know, being under the sun itself is an achievement. You know, be making friends, you know, developing your communication, working in a team. These are all things which uh, some of the parents value and they put their child into sport. Some, unfortunately, very uh, small, um, uh, minor majority of uh, uh, people who, the minute they put uh, the child into a particular sport, they want him to be a Tandulkar or a Dravid or a Federer or, or a, you know something like, like a Lionel Messi. It doesn't work that way. You know the same thing. If if uh, you don't do that in your schools when you put your child in the school, so so if you have that kind of patience and give yourself. So to simplify or summarize the whole thing, what I'm saying, it's about you allow your child to excel whatever whether he likes see this being an art again i'm bringing in it's being an art if the child has it in him has the talent the god-given gift in him then it becomes very important very relevant with you know proper kind of coaching proper environment and the all these things these are secondary uh, provided your child has it if the child doesn't have it maybe god gives us all with some of the other talent maybe this particular sport may not be for your child so maybe you can look at something else I always give this example to a lot of parents if I cannot sing I cannot sing whoever teaches me it doesn't matter so this is one thing so I just tell the parents to have some realistic uh, goals towards the sport and also respect what you get by playing the sport not just the achievements or representations Thank you. The next question is from a parent who asked me, what should be the coach and student ratio in an academy? This I think is a very important and a very intelligent uh, question because someone else also had asked last time that, you know, how do you choose an academy or a coach? So which is difficult, which I think in my pre one of my previous videos, I did answer that. But this question coming to the specific question of what is a uh, coach and uh, player ratio, ideally it should be about i would say about eight to nine players per coach and uh, as the age of the player reduces uh, say if you are coaching a 10 year old 10 year old i i would say the ratio should be about uh, coach to the player, player it should be six uh, players for one coach so maybe when you're coaching a 14 year old it could be probably about nine per coach and maybe when you're coaching the 16s probably you can say about 10 to 12 max so this is the ratio you got to be looking at especially when you're putting your uh, child into particular sport this is one thing which will give you a good uh, heads up with uh, whether you're uh, putting your child in the right academy because for uh, conducive learning uh, this kind of relationship between the uh, player and the uh, coach is important when the numbers exceed from what i just said the coach may not have the time or uh, you know the, the the rest of the things to convey to the player 
So I've I've also seen players in some academies where they stand in a queue to bowl. You know, now what is he learning? What does the child learn? So now if you are going to be in an academy like that, if it is luck, if your child is good, he or she will make it. But if the child needs the proper guidance from a coach, I'm sure that is not the place. So the ratio is this. It is about six. If the age of the player is less than uh, ten, six per uh, coach. If it is about ten years old uh, or a twelve year old, maybe about nine per coach. If it is sixteen, maybe about ten to twelve per coach. So this should be the ratio, and I think this should give you a heads up for you to put uh, your child into an academy or not. So I, I think with this, I hope to get some more questions like this. Thank you so much, and please watch the video. Thank you so much.